Everyone seems to have an opinion about Brunei, but nobody's really talking about Brunei. So in this video, you're gonna see 10 strange things happening in Brunei that you probably didn't know about. Number 10 on our list. Brunei actually has zero taxes, free education and free medical system. Unlike the other countries where you have to pay for school or you have to pay for your medical bills or you have to have a lot of costly appointments to the doctor or to the office, here in Brunei everything is free, including no tax. That's right, you don't have to pay any income tax or anything whatsoever. Also number 9 on our list is the fact that here in Brunei the weekends are Friday and Sunday and there's now a proposition to add such a day as well so technically if that law passes then you're gonna have three days of weekend that's so cool imagine having a longer weekend and being the only country in the world who has three day weekend oh my that sounds so tempting <laughs> yeah number eight on our strange things about Brunei is the fact that Brunei has almost an inexistent public transportation yes this is a bus station and apparently it looks a bit uh, deserted, no buses, no timetables but there are still buses and when you actually do get the chance to take a bus you'll have an experience somehow like this The bus station is Okay, and we pay for the bus ticket now or later? Later when we How are you done? Oh, oh, no, no. Thank you Thank you Very good Here from? Romania Romania? Romania, yes How long have you here? Uh, Two days now. Yes, we arrived the day before yesterday and yesterday we wanted to take the bus but there was no bus available. <laughs> and today bus is available. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, we stay in the small hotel here. Yeah, next to the mall. Yeah. Number seven on our list is the fact that Singapore and Brunei have the exact same exchange currency rate. That means that one Bruneian dollar will always be equal to one Singaporean dollar. Their government arranged it specifically so that it is like this. Therefore, you can pay with Singaporean dollars and Bruneian dollars in both Singapore and Brunei. And I will gonna show you, I'm gonna pay the bill for our food now with Singaporean dollars and Brunei dollars as well. Come. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. See, just like that. You go, you can pay with Bruneian money and Singaporean money for your meal. By the way, getting Singaporean money for filming this video, a bit tricky. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's your name, brother? Yeah. Money. From India. Wow. <laughs> and number six, uh, Brunei is uh, very interesting because it has the highest income per capita in the world. So that means that you will find in this country, supposedly, you will the every citizen will earn a big amount of money and. Uh, it can afford to spend a lot of money the highest in the in this world the gdp is around 51 thousand fifty-one thousand dollars per person because you have a, a huge industry here oil industry and you have around half a million people living in brunei and that brings us to number five as well because the food here the favorite food that the people love is the nasi katok hey. which is this one that Gigi shows you and this one is only one dollar I mean considering the fact that people here earn so much money and they like spending their money on their food and the food is only one dollar kind of doesn't make sense but the taste of the food is amazing so that it totally makes sense yeah <laughs> it totally makes sense cool right Rune you never know and number four on our list is the fact that Fuel is very inexpensive here in this country. I mean, it's around 0.53 uh, dollars for a liter, 
Yet when we had to take a taxi from the center to our accommodation, which was around 4.5 kilometers, the cost was five dollars for the ride. So I don't understand fuel being this cheap, why the taxis are so expensive. Also, regular taxis, not really available here, only Dart. If you have a phone, an Android or an Apple, you can find the taxi app and you can try that one. That's the one that you used. Also, one more thing, petrol is cheaper than water. Because one bottle of water here for one and a half liters costs one dollar. And one liter of petrol is 0.53. And number three on the list, everybody has at least two cars here in Brunei, including the kids at secondary school. They also drive a car to school every day. Okay, imagine being in secondary school, Gigi, and me driving up to your house and coming to pick you up with a car. That would be cool. No, because I would have my own car. <laughs> oh, maybe the reason that there are no buses here is that everybody has their own car. So, huh. Slowly, slowly, Brunei starts to make sense, in a way. The second thing on our list is the fact that Brunei being a Sharia law country, one of the few countries in the world where you have this law in action, um, here you don't find any alcohol, cigarettes, and the gay dis public display of affection is prohibited. If you want to consume alcohol and cigarettes, you, as a foreigner, you have to bring them with yourself from outside because you cannot find them here in the shops to buy them. And you can only consume them in private, in your own room or in a place that allows this kind of actions. And number one on our list is the fact that the Sultan, he's the richest man in the whole country. His net worth is around 28 billion US dollars. He owns half the production of Rolls Royces in the world, which is 600 pieces, including a golden one. He has 450 Ferraris, 380 Bentleys and he has the biggest mansion in the world whose rooftops are plated with gold and the ballrooms inside were opulent and he throws massive parties in there including the one in the 90s celebrating his 25th jubilee of sultanship okay I'm in front of the sultan's palace right now this is what you can see and I was just asked to go away because uh, apparently people don't like it when you film here so yeah, this is his big house. Interesting. That being said, what do you think about this country, Gigi, to summarize Brunei? I think it's interesting and um, every country is different and this is why we should appreciate them. Yes, most people say that Brunei is boring and most people say that Brunei is bad. But we visited Brunei for the past week and we liked it and we recommend people to visit here and to learn about its oddities. Thank you so much for watching our video, guys. This has been an informative video. I hope you liked it. And thank you for watching it. Please subscribe, like, share, do all the things that you do and help us make more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. I hope you learned something new today with this video. Bye-bye.